Thank you for staying with us here on Bonama today. With me, a very special guest, Puan Haslinda, and she is the Chief Executive Officer of Royal Floria Puchijaya 2018. Um, basically, uh, Puchijaya has been organizing a lot of floral events over the years. I think the last one we've seen quite big was uh, 2016, if I'm not mistaken, yeah? Uh, now, it was running way, way, way before that, and the, the visitors hit the highest record of number in 2011 with 1.1 million visitors visiting the event in just a few days span. So with me right now, the Chief Executive Officer, Paul Haslinda, thank you very much for taking time to join us and share with us a little bit about the event uh, and this time, the celebration for 2018. What do you have in store for us? Okay, uh, mm. the event will take place uh, at the end of this month, okay. uh, 25th uh, of August until 2nd of September, mm -hmm. will be a nine-day nine event. Mm -hmm. So th this year, we are celebrating the 10th anniversary. Okay. The 10th anniversary, meaning that we have organized nine events prior, prior to, to, this, this. To, to this year. We started back in 2007, mm -hmm. uh, and we built and developed this event uh, in the previous years, okay. with all the team flowers. And this year, the 10th anniversary will will showcase all the flowers that became the team flowers for in the previous years. Oh, so, oh, so that means basically yeah. you were that nine years. Mm -hmm. So all nine flowers will be showcased this year. Yes, yes. Okay. And what I mean, do you know like specifically which flowers? Oh, we're talking about yeah. uh, the hibiscus, the national ah, hibiscus, flower. Yeah, okay. There are also orchids. Mm -hmm. There will be roses, mm -hmm. and also uh, chrysanthemums. Yeah, chrysanthemums. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, okay. And the uh, uh, heliconias, the lilies, the right. bulgonias. Yeah, right. uh, all the flowers. Yeah. But I'm just wondering, <laughs> right? What happened to the raffles here? The raffles here. Yeah. Uh, well, raffles here, they are in yeah. Borneo. Okay. Uh, it's not easy to actually bring, bring them. Oh, okay. Yeah, transporting it is, yeah, is going to be an yes, issue. Because yeah. it's one of the biggest flowers, right? Yes. And not only that, it's also world-renowned. Everybody knows yeah, it uh, yes, as, as yes, that, right? Yes, Just uh, wondering here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Problem. Now, I believe that the Independence Day coincides together with this as well. Because I heard from you earlier on mm -hmm. that the uh, Independence Day will be running at the main boulevard and yes. you will be around the corner, right? Right. True. Okay. Uh, maybe you 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 know uh, the highlights that you can share with us this year. What what's the event highlighting? Uh, since we are celebrating the 10th anniversary, mm -hmm. so we're having like all the flowers, like I mentioned okay. just now, and we're gonna have the uh, Royal Garden. That ah. one is uh, one of the highlights uh, every year. This year we okay. are we get uh, uh, the, the 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 garden itself is inspired by the Royal Garden of Pera. Oh, ah, this okay. year this one. Uh, what we're looking at uh, right now? Uh, this one is in the International Pavilion. Oh, okay. Uh, where we're going to have all the international participants okay. that are going to portray their... Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, in the in the indoor indoor right. pavilion, the floral pavilion. Right. Uh, we have a lot of uh, designers uh, going to collaborate with us from the societies, from the associations, mm -hmm. even from bonsai association of Malaysia. Okay. They are putting hundreds and hundreds of bonsai and also suseki, right. suseki stones uh, to be displayed and uh, to have a competition there. May I ask? You said that the royal garden this year is uh, by the Sultan. I mean, sorry, the Perak Palace, right? Yeah. Inspired so it's, it's the actually US. the the Sultan's personal collection or what? I don't uh, know. Actually, it's the Istana yeah. Kenangan in Kuala Kamsa. So okay. uh, it's one of the oldest uh, Istana actually. Okay. Now it become a museum. Okay. I, I went I went there to, uh, huh. to look at the Istana. Now it's under refurbishment. Okay. So we are taking that facade oh. uh, to put it into a garden setting. I see. Uh, so uh, we're going to have the display in Floria. At the same time, uh, every day we're going to have a culture uh, dancers, uh, mm. culture show. Uh, so we are actually uh, promoting the para uh, cultures and also arts uh, in that garden. Right. So, so it's going to be a lot of yellow, white flowers, kind of yeah, something to do with the flowers, para. The colorful flowers and also some of the theme of the para, okay. uh, the labu sayong, yeah. you know, uh -huh. things like that. It's not just uh, para. Is the we go we ro rotating every states every year. Mm -hmm. So this year will be the para. Uh, state we are putting right. in the culture yes and yeah. there was once uh, yeah. orchids were very famous yes <laughs> there was one yes. time everyone uh, has orchid right yes and um, are, are they still doing this uh, workshops and all those yeah we have plenty of workshops okay. because a nine, nine day uh, event mm -hmm. every day we're going to have uh, people uh, going to do uh, floral de mm -hmm. demos mm -hmm. we know the, the arrangement even talk you know mm -hmm. so uh, the display of orchids will be there also with okay. many many species Okay. Uh, so we know that uh, Malaysians uh, they like 
orchids very much. Exactly. Like they are yeah. followers of orchids. Right. They are also followers of bonsai. They are also mm. followers of roses and also other <laughs> roses. <flowers>. Yeah. <laughs> That's why when we put everything together, mm -hmm. we are looking at more than 400,000 uh, flowers yeah, mm -hmm. to be oh, displayed. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so we hope, we really hope for visitors to come. Right. And this is where the showcase of all the flowers in Malaysia that you can see right. and enjoy. Yeah. Right. Uh, Puan, we're going to take a short commercial break and when we come back, we're actually going to talk a little bit not only about the event itself, but we're going to talk about the demand of flowers in Malaysia. Maybe you can share with me off, I know it's a bit off topic, but you know, you can share with me, uh, why is it uh, the Malaysians love having flowers around them a lot? Because whenever we eat, there's always a, <laughs> a vase of flowers yes, in the middle, right? Yes, yes. You go to any house, there's mm -hmm. always a bouquet of flowers right in the middle of a table to decorate the house, mm. and, uh, right? Correct? Yeah, true, true, right. yes. All that and more after the commercial break, stay tuned. Yes, okay. Thank you for staying us here on Banama today. Uh, I'm with Pon Haslinda, the CEO of Royal Flora Putrajaya 2018. And uh, we're earlier on, we're mm. on the topic uh, of air. We were talking okay, a little bit sure, about yes. uh, the people that would actually love mm. to have flowers around, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, before we go into that, uh, because we have students, we have people staying at home, mm -hmm. people working in the office, some yes. of them have flowers right beside their desk, correct? True. But let's yeah. go to the industry itself mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can share with me, how's the flower industry in Malaysia? Uh, I believe the flower industry at the moment is booming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, when I went up to the Camera Highlands, uh, we can see that uh, a lot of farms right. being developed up there. Are the new farms uh, coming the up? New farms, yeah. I see. And uh, uh, I also uh, was informed that most was being exported to oh. to uh, other countries like uh, mm -hmm. Singapore, Japan, Taiwan, mm -hmm. also in uh, Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. So uh, with this flower show, we are we are getting the the farmers the industry to help us to actually uh to put some awareness mm -hmm. of the floriculture the flower industry right. because most of Malaysians perhaps like uh, I mentioned just now mm -hmm. they just love orchids or they right. just love roses right. but they don't know that there are many many species that are being locally grown in Malaysia I see uh, then can be found in Malaysia and okay. I think for um, highlands flowers you can you can actually go up to the Cameron Highland and perhaps look at the lavenders yeah? lavenders. Uh, lavenders and uh, you, you cannot be grown here but mm -hmm. at least you can go to Cameron Highlands a few hours Right. Away, and 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 to 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 just enjoy and admire the flowers, yeah. And there were a lot of nurseries here. You know, you just yes. drive along plenty, Sungai Bulo. Yes. There's a lot of nurseries, nurseries. and uh, I I think nurseries as well plays mm. an important role mm. because it's also helping the local uh, industry to grow, right? Yes. So for your from your point of view, mm. local nurseries, uh, where does where do they send the flowers to? Usually, most of them. Oh. Some of the uh, farmers lo uh, in the lowlands, mm -hmm. like in Mua, Johor, there are okay. plenty of nurseries. Definitely, they have uh, they they send their business to Singapore. I mean, close to to, to ah. Johor, and also there are uh, farms in uh, Jandabai, Batu Arang. You know, orchids. They have uh, farms mm -hmm. everywhere. Actually, outside of KL area, uh, so these people they have their uh, people who are actually doing business with them. Right. Yeah. But do you have a number for this industry? I mean, kind of roughly, what does it bring in? Do you know any? Uh, in terms roughly. of the, I think I believe yeah. a few years ago, I yeah. was I was told that they are making like uh, millions okay. offering it just uh, okay. by exporting the the right. flowers to the to the foreign countries. Right, and yeah. and because Malika is around mm -hmm. the corner, mm -hmm. and there's you know there's always floats and all that. Uh -huh, do yeah. do the does the parade coincide with what you guys are already doing? Do do they have uh, any collaboration with? You, uh, with you at the moment it's just mm. on the flower show okay. uh, the parade I think <coughs> more on the Merdeka parade I as see. usual and uh, sorry uh, but for the flowers in, mm. in the flower show like I mm. mentioned it's more than 400,000 mm. yeah there, there are more than 100 uh, species or varieties or hybrids that we are displaying uh, right. during the flower show right. and uh, there are Gardens. I mean, their their designs that uh, that many people actually like you sh you mentioned just now mm. to get the idea, right. yeah, okay. how to decorate your your small space uh, back at home, right. uh, even in balcony uh, or, or even in be vertical, you know, uh, vertical uh, buildings, uh, buildings yeah. things like that. Okay. So we're giving ideas to the visitors. Uh, so yeah. it looks like put uh, Putrajaya 
Flora Sanyambur is actually uh, playing a major role in our horticulture and floriculture industry, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. You know, hel helping this growing further. Mm. I mean, how does your company, you know, mm. uh, benefit the people that actually loves flowers? Okay. Mm -hmm. Besides having the flower show, mm -hmm. we also ha are going to organize a dialogue, a two-day dialogue. Okay. Yeah. The dialogue is about uh, the industry as a whole. Uh -huh. You're talking about floriculture, agriculture, uh, horticulture, and also landscape architecture. We are bringing all these people with all the, these interesting topics, mm -hmm. and we're trying to get every uh, uh, a lot of people to understand what mm -hmm. the industry is all about okay. and how it benefits uh, the nation and also the people. Yeah. So this nine days event, Royal Floria Puchajaya 2018, yeah. will be held in Puchajaya. Mm -hmm. uh, Ticket prices? Uh, do we have tickets or is it free still? Yes, it's chargeable. <laughs> 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 but uh, right. actually, we are yeah. uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, actually in terms of the ticket rates, we are still the lowest mm -hmm. uh, compared to countries that also organizing flower shows in their countries. Mm -hmm. uh, so for we have two two different rates: uh, okay. weekend and also weekday. So okay. weekend for adults fifteen ringgit. Okay. Uh, weekday for adults twelve ringgit. Right. And and children is half the price. Oh, okay. Yeah. And if I want to find out a little bit more information, mm -hmm. do you have a website to go to? Yes. Yes, definitely. We mm. have the website. It's just mm. actually you just type Putrajaya Florea or Florea Putrajaya. Mm. It goes straight to the to the website. All right, and uh, actually I have the website here. Yeah, I didn't yes, see I it. it. Florea yes. dot yes. dot com dot yes. my is yes. the yes. website to go uh. to. Ah, oh, yeah, they flashed it as well yeah. on the screen. <laughs> uh, and visitors are actually encouraged to purchase the tickets online, online. Uh, on uh, this website, right? The, yes, uh, the, uh, website. Florea Putrajaya website. Yeah. Uh, because it will be at a discounted rate. Discounted at twenty percent. Wow! Automatically, you can get if you buy online. Mm -hmm. Compared to on site, you won't get the discount. Okay. So we mm -hmm. encourage people to buy online. So the automatically, you will get the twenty percent right. uh, discount. Yeah, I also yeah. think uh, yeah. online is the way to go if you yes, want to buy yes, anything yeah. at all, tickets and you know, whatever you do. So it's going to be on the twenty fifth to the second of September, and um, from nine o'clock in the morning to ten thirty at night, Monday to Thursday, and from nine o'clock to 12 o'clock at night from Friday to Sunday so it's an extended working hour for yes. the weekend right yeah we are used to that already and then we are uh, actually uh, uh, encouraging a lot of people to come mm -hmm. and then if you they, they want to stay until after midnight oh we, it's up to them it's up to them and we will allow them to just may, stay may I ask yes. The night view better, or the <laughs> afternoon view better, or the evening, because it, it plays a role, uh, right? Yes, Correct. Yes. Flowers bloom, or mm. you know, shine in different mm. ways yes, and true. different, right? Mm. So, what do you think will be the best uh, time? The best time if you come early in the morning, mm -hmm. yeah, because it's not too hot, okay. and then uh, then l late afternoon, okay. And then you stay until until after 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 eight or even night. twelve o'clock, yeah, twelve midnight. So do you have uh, like lights and flowers pairing together, something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a lot of lights going to be at night <laughs> because, right. uh, but for taking pictures, it's mm -hmm. better during the full sun. Correct. Yeah, you can get beautiful pictures from the flowers. I yeah. agree with you. Uh, again, uh, if you have uh, if you have any doubts or any questions, you want to find out more information, you can always go to floriapuchajaya.com.my can find out a little bit and also purchase the tickets at a 20% discount, discount right? Discount, yeah, online. Uh, and this, these tickets are a daily thing, right? Yes, yes, uh, so all the time. Yes. Entrance, re-entry, doesn't matter. Mm. As long as you purchase one ticket, you can go in all the yes, time. Yes, true. All right, thank you very much, uh, Puan Haslinda, for talking to us and thank you very much for sharing with us you, a little bit about uh, Floria Puchajaya and thank you very much for watching Monday's edition of Bernama Today. Stay tuned because we've got the news updates right here on Bernama News Channel.